In this video, we'll look at the calculation for the adjusted beta using the Bloom method. The method here is applied on the regression beta or what we call the raw beta of a company. And usually it will be a public listed company. And uh, the regression beta will be done on the company's uh, historical data. So when we get the regression beta, okay, this is based on historical data. But however, we may want to adjust the beta so that it reflects a forward-looking view that in the long run, the company's beta should regress towards 1, okay, which is the market's beta. So in this case, we have the raw beta or the regression beta of Wolf Bruce, uh, a public research company, and the raw beta is 1.8. So let's say we want to calculate the adjusted beta using Bloom's method. So the formula for the adjusted beta is equals to two third multiplied by the raw beta or the regression beta plus one third. So there will be two third multiplied by 1.8 plus one third. So that will be equals to 1.53. So you will see that if we apply the formula, the beta will actually decline. Okay, as remember, we are expecting the beta to revert back to one in the long run. So once we get the beta, we can of course use this to calculate the cost of equity. For example, using the CAPM formula, okay, we can use this beta for calculating cost of equity. So if you keep applying this, the beta will slowly decline back to one. And just to explain a bit further, okay, so how why are we saying that it's going to decline back to one? Now, if you recall from quantitative methods under the AR1 model or the autoregressive uh, for one lag model, we have uh, x sub t equals to b0 plus b1 multiplied by x sub t minus 1. So imagine that this x sub t here represents the beta okay, of the company at time t. Okay, So in this case, when we are looking for the mean reverting level, the formula for the mean reverting level or the value of the beta in the long run would be b0 over 1 minus b1. So if you compare back to the formula, B0 is actually equal to the constant, which is wanted. Okay, and B1 is the coefficient of the slope, so that is two third. So that'll be one third over one third. So that will be equals to one. So it tells us that for this model, okay, the mean reverting level is one, which is the market beta.